Hello! Today we would like to show you a new item that has appeared on the soldering equipment market. A Jovi System Turbo IR soldering station. It's a hybrid system combining both infrared heating and hot air heating. Unfortunately, we do not have a possibility to fully review the station and test its soldering capabilities. However, we will unbox it for you, check what's included in the package contents, assemble and prepare it for work. This is going to be very interesting, let's begin! We will start with this box. We are also very curious what's inside, as we are unboxing this for the first time. Let's put this advertising booklet aside. This box is marked Cobra Light. There is an additional lighting device inside. The device is very useful and in many cases it is placed directly on the station. However, it comes separately with this station. Let's take a look at additional accessories. Here we have a BGA paste, a very good BGA gel flux, I would personally recommend it, a USB cable, the station can be connected to a computer, just like any Jovi equipment. Vacuum pickup tool and protective tape, which can separate components that don't need to be soldered. All of this stuff is quite expensive, and it's very nice that it's included in the package contents. There is also a software CD, pickup tool nozzles, and manuals in English. Looks like a gun and the actual station is here. The so-called main unit is a bit bigger than it seemed on the pictures. The gun is made of very pleasant to the touch materials, a soft touch type of plastic that is usually used in cell phones. Here we have three focusing nozzles and a key to install them, which we will not unpack just yet. And finally a power cable. Let's now take a look what's inside the second box. This is the same advertising booklet that we found in the first box. Preheating unit seems to be here, let's try to take it out. So this is the preheating unit with the gun holder. It's not very big, probably 22 by 22 centimeters. A K-type thermocouple is located on this holder, which can be easily fixed in any position. The thermocouple should be connected to the control unit. This is the XY table with additional clamps for very small PCBs. It's very important that movement along the axis is very smooth in this station. Everything can be fixed here, and the gun holder height can be adjusted. Heating element power is 800 Watt. It is similar to the one installed in Jovi Systems 
RE7500. Let's connect everything and see how it works. These are all the parts that you need. It looks quite simple. Let's try to put the station together. So, this is how the station looks when it is assembled. There is also a nozzle that we can put on the gun, right here. It decreases the heating area if you need to work with very small PCBs. Before we switch the station on, a few words about what it is and what its advantages are. As you can see written right here, this is the hybrid technology. What does this mean? It means it has both infrared and hot air heating. This heating element emits an infrared spectrum and works as a typical infrared soldering station. However, there is also a small turbine here, which accelerates hot air and supplies it to the soldering area. It looks like the manufacturer has decided to combine positive sides of two different types of soldering technologies. Many manufacturers admit that this combination improves general soldering characteristics. It's not hard to guess what the main purpose of this station is. Both the heater and the work table are quite small. This means that you can put either a cell phone or a video car here. It would be difficult to work with a regular motherboard, unless you somehow combine the station with a different work table like the one in Jovi RE7500. However, it would still be difficult to work with PCBs of such size due to a small heating area. So, basically, the station should be used mainly for cell phones and video cards. What I don't like about this station is that all of the cables, including the thermocouple, are in front. This cable, for example, will definitely interfere during work it would be more logical to move this interface back. Let's switch the station on with the button on the front panel. Preheating unit is switched on the same way, with a separate button. Different modes can be chosen on the display of the station. Currently, the Auto mode is active. A Free mode and Settings menu are also available. In the Auto mode, we can choose the final temperature, time of the automatic mode process, and temperature of the preheating unit. The station does not allow adjusting anything else. More extended settings are available after connecting the station to a computer. Now we can choose either to start the process or to go back to the previous menu. Free mode is next. There are also three options that we can choose here. These options are Intensity of the infrared emission of hot air gun power and preheating unit power. In order to adjust them, you need to press, hold and then turn this rotary encoder. All of these parameters are measured in some unknown units, from 1 to 5. Unfortunately, we do not know what the absolute values of those units are. This is the settings menu. 
we can switch between temperature units Celsius and Fahrenheit and choose a language here. Only English is available as the manufacturer did not provide any other alternatives. Let's take a closer look at the free mode. I'm sure it will be used quite often. Adjust the settings first. 3 units for infrared intensity, 5 units for hot air gun power. We can see the temperature rising when we move the thermocouple to the soldering air. Not sure if you're able to hear it, but the gun turbine is working. Therefore, both infrared and hot air heating processes have started. Indeed, there is an airflow here. Let's stop the process as we do not have anything that we can solder and turn all of the parameters back to zero. As I have mentioned before, this station can be connected to a computer. We will demonstrate this in our next video. The final thing that we would like to show you is the vacuum pickup tool. An additional nozzle that creates vacuum is placed here. The tool is working and it is a big advantage that, just as in every other Jovi soldering station, it is included in the package contents. In conclusion, we can say that it is possible that the price of the station will decrease, as currently it is a bit high. It has many competitors, so it will have difficulties on the soldering station market. Hybrid technology has its positive sides, and is used by some famous manufacturers, like Irsa and Martin. It is both an interesting and promising technology. Thank you very much for your attention. This has been a short review of the Joey Systems Turbo IR soldering station.